Alrighty, welcome back to the YouTube. So, back in at Powerhouse today for D-volume legs. So, I've started off on the lateral raise um, and done, you know, some top-up delt work, um, as I like to call it, a double rest pause um, with a bit of load. Now onto some calf raises. So, final, final warm up? No, this is actually a, you know, first working set. I've got 75 loaded um, here, so, I'll do, yeah, this is the first set, and then I'll load it up to 90, I believe, for more like a, you know, eight to 10. This will probably be more like a 15 repper. Um, anyway, I'll talk about the D volume and whatnot throughout throughout the session a bit more. So yeah, I'll crack on with this, um, and then get onto some heavier load in a minute. Alrighty, upon reviewing my logbook, um, this needs to be 92 and a half. So we've got 92 and a half loaded. Um, the one thing I have been real conscious of on my calf raises of late is, consciously um, activating my calves from the bottom um, and real and not just you know pressing up but you know consciously squeezing and retracting the calf from the bottom so we'll see how this goes I'm also conscious of the lighting in this angle which I hopefully rectified when I set this up so put the music on let's go <sighs> Alrighty, so calf race is done, um, just the two sets there, so D volume. Um, this is the week before prep, so trying to freshen up a bit before you know we get kick started into prep. Um, I've been running this training block for the better part of 12 weeks, so um, yeah, wanting to you know just alleviate some of that fatigue, freshen up a little bit in preparation for prep. So just a reduction in volume across the board. Um, so for things that are one set, a reduction in intensity on that set, maybe leave a rep or two in the tank. Where there's two sets, do one set. Where there's three sets, just do two. So on the adductors here, just warming up still um, and take my shoes off just to get a bit more range at the bottom. Otherwise, sort of my shoes would touch the end because I'm trying to keep my feet as far forward on the pad as possible. Oh yeah. Uh, load it up and do a double rest pause. Right, that was 15. I'm gonna do 30 second rest. Go again. 30 second rest again. Then go again. Mm. 
30 seconds and we go again. As we transition to the meat and potatoes in the session, put my knee sleeves on, new SBD ones. Um, this is the third maybe rotation using them. Um, I had my old ones for about five years, six years maybe. Um, they definitely had seen better days. Um, I, was, I got exactly the same size um, as last time, but these are surprisingly very easy to get on, which I thought was gonna be the opposite, but I feel very good. Um, wouldn't, couldn't recommend the SBD high enough, um, given the fact that, yes, they're a bit more expensive, maybe 150 for the pair, um, including shipping, I believe, from, I'm going to say City Strength, which I think is the Australian exporter or importer of the SBD, which I think is a UK brand. Anyway, um, um, once I put these on, we're going to jump onto the ProFlex hack, um, which, you know, I probably only re, re, back reintroduced it because I was doing the one behind me, the M Torture drop squat um, for a fair whack of time, but just wasn't, you know, getting along with it, sort of just wasn't, well, sorry, I was getting on with it, but, you know, just the setup and all of that was just getting a bit much um, and just wasn't enjoying it as much. So revert back to this um, and definitely feeling better with the squat shoes on it as opposed to barefoot on like the Cybex hat. Um, but it's funny, you know, like seeing Instagram posts from leg sessions, you know, two, three years ago, I was popping five, five and a half plates on here, banded for that matter, um, but definitely not as controlled. So now not banned, so not reverse band, AKA more challenging. Um, I think I did four and a half, 4.75, a pretty solid set last rotation. Um, you know, give me only back off set. Um, and mind you, when I was doing four and a half the other week, it was paused as well, which is brutal. Very good knee flexion. Um, so today I'll probably, I think I did 3.75 for 12, just continuous reps last time. I might just do four plates. If I can do a set of four plates for, you know, 10 to 12, um, I'll take that. So anyway, squat shoes going in. Um, and let's get the warm ups underway. a banging set four plates for 12 which is pretty cool um, obviously no pauses but that was 3.75 as a back off um, last week which was quite you know moderately challenging but they're yeah, super happy with the you know control at the bottom etc anyway on to the hammer strength hip press now so um, I suppose the rationale for what I'm doing right now which is top banding it aka making it more challenging is because there's a period there where I would, like I think six plates was the max that I could load on this um, so hence why I'm like oh let's actually make it more challenging 
got a bit more runway for progression. It meant that I sort of capped myself out at four, four and a half plates on a top set. Um, so I'm just going to back off today, obviously, but um, you know, it makes it a lot more challenging. It smokes the quads. Um, it means you don't need to load as many, as much weight on. Um, but it's a bit of a doozy to load up the band in the most challenging spot possible. It's always helpful when I've got someone to help me. But anyway, jeez. Might have to get into a better position. Three, two, yep. All right, that one's locked in. I'm gonna do the other one um, and get warmed up. Okay, here we go. We've got 3.5 loaded. Tunes on. Let's go. Three, two. Undoubtedly, always fucking cook my quads. Just realised that the mic may not have been on for the past couple of clips, but I'll find that out <laughs> later when I edit this video. Um, extension was taken, so I'll jump on this before that. All right, tunes on. As you'll see just before this, unfortunately on the glute drive, just prior to the set, my camera died, hence why the clip of the glute drive set isn't actually in here. Um, then I transitioned onto my phone filming on there, so obviously the quality might be slightly different. Um, and funnily, funnily enough, the um, audio and my mic also um, died as well, hence why I'm filming this post-production. But anyway, um, I did film a clip on the extensions, um, you know, having a bit of a talk about, you know, what I'm trying to think about on here, you know, particularly trying to get as good a stretch at the top as possible and really contract and really get my um, quads horizontal and legs horizontal. So also not really, you know, slinging the weight up from the bottom um, and really controlling it on the way up as well as on the way down. So just a few things that I think people can get a lot more out of the leg extension and one of the most popular leg um leg movements should i say um so something that a lot of people butcher so definitely think people can get a lot more out of it than they currently are but anyway this will round out the sesh i'll catch you in the car for the post session chat Alrighty, so a bit of a unfortunate situation towards the end of that session so firstly my camera died as you can see on the um glue drive and then started filming on my phone um, and the mic died, unfortunately. So lesson learned, probably need to charge a bit more and um, probably need to get a spare battery for the camera. So wrap up of the session, D-volume, you know, done in, uh, it was it went, was a bit longer because I got chatting to some people, which is fine because I wasn't in any rush. Um, it's about 20 past 11 now, half past 11. So done in, you know, reasonable time, a couple of hours. Um, so we get to just chill out for the rest of the day, but R&R, &R, um, some really good performance across the board as expected. Um, I would imagine I could, um, you know, push some heavier loads given that I'm doing the back off only and not fatigued on the top set of some of those movements. So, you know, big success, big success. Anyway, um, only one more D volume session on probably Sunday, um, and then prep starts and back into full volume. So I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I'm going to have to chop it up a bit 
potentially some of the audio clips didn't work so i'll find that out later maybe I have to do a few voiceovers but we'll find out later um, and we'll cross that bridge anyway hope you've liked the video if you do pop a like down below if there's anything else you'd like to see comment below um, and if you want to stay tuned to everything um on the youtube channel please subscribe sunday every sunday 5 p.m australian eastern standard daylight time there'll be a video from me have a terrific day all see you in the next one